Welcome to Lecture 6 of Computer Programming Fundamentals, L6, C Basics. No doubt that the C computer programming language is responsible for the computer programming language basic concepts prevalent in today's dominant computer programming languages, in particular the Java and the C Sharp computer programming languages. Even though the C computer programming language originated under the computer programming language procedure-oriented paradigm, however, these computer programming language basic concepts not only stood the test of time, but more importantly successfully migrated to today's computer programming object-oriented paradigm. As such, I see the Java and C Sharp computer programming languages as extensions of the original C computer programming language because the computer programming language basic concepts have been carried forward to the Java and C sharp computer programming languages. Carried forward because they are time proven, essential, and independent of any specific computer programming language. This is why lecture 6 emphasizes these basic computer programming language basic concepts. Computer programming language basic concepts that have provided a foundation for all computer programming languages that follow. As such, what better computer programming language to demonstrate these concepts than the C computer programming language, the computer programming language that originated the concepts. A number of computer programming language basic concepts used today originated with the C computer programming language. Many have been carried forward, refined, and extended to today's computer programming languages. Although many have withstood the test of time, 40 years of advancing information technology have necessitated some refinement or elimination. For example, escape characters, conversion specifiers, and structures are no longer required. These have given way to improvements in compiler technology, operating systems, and relational database management systems. However, they did pave the way to these improvements. So I will address them as they provide a better appreciation for today's improvements. The others have been preserved over the last 40 years and are still viable for discussion. Okay, let's stop talking and demonstrate these computer programming basic concepts with some C computer programming language code models. The organization of your computer program is your primary and foremost concern. Failure to properly organize your computer program will doom your computer program from the start. As such, this is the most important computer programming language basic concept to follow. The C computer programming language established this basic concept by requiring all C computer programs to have a main function in which all computer instructions were executed. The main function was akin to the concept of a computer program having a mainline set of instructions. This concept paved the way for structured programming best practices. Structured programming best practices were computer program instructions would be organized into small standalone independent code modules. The modules would be called by a mainline which itself was a small standalone independent module. These modules would then be organized into a hierarchical top-down structure with the mainline or in this case the main function at the top of the modular structure. This created more reliable, maintainable and tighter computer programs. Okay, let's take a look at how this simple C computer program code model establishes and enforces the program organization concept. First see the main function definition. Note that all the procedural computer instructions are included within main. Let's take a look at the line comment. This should be the very first line to identify the C computer program file name and the purpose of the program which is in this case L6A.C with the purpose of demonstrating program organization. Next the computer source code required by the main function. 
This is provided by the pound and clue preprocessor directive. In other words, you must define everything main needs before you execute the computer instructions in main. The C computer programming language has three main data types for declaring data, assigning values to the data, and processing the data, namely integer, floating point, and character. Note there is no string data type. The C computer programming language compensates for this by providing an array of characters. Okay, next let's demonstrate the use of these data types. Before the computer program instructions with main can be executed, the data variables processed by these computer program instructions must be declared. This means that the declaration of computer program data variables take place before the computer program instructions that process the data. This is why in this example the declaration of the computer data variables named cost and noon are declared before the printf function calls that display them to the console. This sequence is necessary because declaration of computer program data variables tells the compiler where and how much memory to reserve for the computer program's data variables. Note also that cost and num are declared within the main function. This is because the domain of the computer program data variables must be the same as the computer program instructions that process the data variables. This is referred to as the scope of the data variables. Accordingly, the life of the computer program data variables must also match that of the computer program instructions that process the data variables. The computer program data variables declaration requires that each data variable is typed. The data type keyword in the C computer programming language precedes the data variable name. This is the case for most computer programming languages. The only exception I can think of is the basic computer programming language in which the data type keyword follows. So in this case, for the cost data variable, the data type is float, short for floating point or non-integer numeric variable. For the num data variable, it is int, short for integer. Once computer program data variables are declared, they can be assigned values. Assignment of values is performed by the assignment or equal sign operator. Note the computer program instruction num equal 3 semicolon. This instruction assigns the value 3 to the computer program data variable num. Likewise, for the computer program instruction cost equal 4.50 semicolon, this instruction assigns the value 4.50 to the computer program data variable cost. What is important to grasp regarding these computer program assignment instructions is that the data variables must be first be typed or declared before the assignments can take place. Furthermore, the assignments must comply with the data type that was declared. For example, the computer program instruction num equal 1.00 semicolon would cause the compiler to indicate a type mismatch error because 1.00 is not an integer. Okay. Now that the two computer program variables have been declared and initialized, let's take a look at the printf function call instructions. Note that each printf function call passes two arguments with the call. For example, let's examine the first printf function call. printf left paren double quote, the integer is percent %d backslash n double quote, comma new right paren, semicolon. Note the comma separates the argument between the double quotes and the num argument. The first argument displays the statement the integer is. The second argument displays the value assigned to data variable num. According to the format specifier percent %d included in the first argument, the result of the execution shown in the command processor as the integer is 3. Likewise, for the second printf call instruction, printf, left paren, 
double quote, the floating point is percent F backslash N close double quote, comma, cost, right per N, semicolon, the same principle prevails with the result being the floating point is 4.500000. Don't worry about the extra four zeros. We will discuss the format specifier options later. Okay, now you should understand the importance of declaring and assigning values to computer program data variables. Failure to comply with computer programming data basics will surely result in unreliable, unmaintainable, and unsatisfactory computer programs. Okay, now that we have discussed the importance of declaring, initializing, and processing data, let's talk about inputting data into your computer program. Everything we have discussed regarding so far holds true. Namely, those basic computer concepts for declaration, initialization, and processing of data. Rather than initializing the data with a computer program assignment instruction within the computer program code, for this computer program code model, the data values will be entered by the user. This is a much better approach for initializing the data, because the user now has control. Thus, the same computer program code can be used to produce different results, different results based on different input controlled by the user. More importantly, this user data-driven approach reduces significantly the maintenance requirement for the computer program code. To this point, who would you rather change the values of the data, a computer programmer or a user familiar with the data? Well then, you think about it. The answer to this question is obvious. Okay, now that we agree on this point, that it's better to enter data values rather than to let the computer program control the data values through the computer program assignment statement, okay, now that I beat this principle to death, how does the C computer programming language accomplish user data entry? Take a look at these combination of computer program instructions. Printf left paren double quote, please enter integer backslash n double quote, right paren, semicolon, scan f, left paren, double quote, percent d, double quote, comma, ampersand num, right paren, semicolon. This combination includes a prompt based on the printf function call, responded to by the second computer program instruction, the scan f function call. The printf function call prompts the user by displaying, please enter integer with the cursor positioned one line below the prompt. Remember the new line escape character backslash n. Next to be executed is the scanf function call. You can see by the command processor that I, the user, entered 65. Taking a closer look at the scanf function call, note there are two arguments passed with the call. The first argument, percent %d, accepts my data entry of 65. Remember the format specifier for integer data values? The second argument, amper num, assigns the 65 I entered to the integer variable num. At this point, you might ask what the ampersand signifies. The ampersand signifies a computer memory address a computer memory address that points to the computer memory location reserved for the num integer variable. This is an example of indirect addressing or the use of pointers. Pointers were used in the C computer programming language to write tight, efficient computer program code. The kind of computer program code required in an era of limited computer hardware resources. Also remember that the C computer programming language was used as both a low-level and a high-level computer programming language, used for operating systems as well as general-purpose computer programming application solutions. Needless to say, today's use of pointers is frowned upon. Another question that may be asked at this point is, where is the scanf function defined? Remember, standard io.h stands for standard input-output. Likewise, for printf, scanf is the other side of the standard input-output header file. 
included in the computer program code by the preprocessor director. The second combination of printf and scanf function calls, namely printf left paren double quote, please enter last name, backwards slash n double quote right paren semicolon, scanf left paren double quote percent sign s double quote comma, last name right paren semicolon, works the same as the first combination already discussed with the exception that the last name is of a character data type. The percent %s format specifier, which is short for a string of characters, accepts the last name value. Also note that as before, data must still be declared in your computer program code. Note, int num semicolon uh, character last name left bracket 80 right bracket semicolon. You still need the declarations within the main function, regardless of whether you enter the data values or initialize them within your computer program code. The second declaration for last name brings up another point regarding the C computer programming language. The C computer programming language did not accommodate string data types. In this case, last name is declared as a fixed array of 80 characters. For example, char, last name, left bracket, 80, right bracket. Today, programming languages accommodate string data types. Okay, let's take a look at the command processor results. Results that should be of no surprise, given this discussion, which I trust verify the many advantages of letting users enter their own data values, a capability that is essential for any computer programming language, a capability originated in the C computer programming language. C computer programming language includes an overwhelming abundance of computer instruction operators. Operators supporting a wide variety of robust computer instructions. A robust set of computer instructions producing results with very little computer program code. This was a fact of life for the C computer programming language, as it was a multi-purpose computer programming language, used to code computer operating systems as well as computer program application solutions, thus used as a low-level as well as a high-level computer programming language, particularly in an era in which computer machine resources were severely limited. This abundance of operators to support tight, compact computer programming code demonstrates the versatility, adaptability, and extensibility of the C computer programming language. The operators can be grouped into three main categories, assignment, comparison, and arithmetic. These three groups provide a foundation for a computer programming language's instruction set a foundation in this case that is truly remarkable, especially for a computer programming language developed in the 1970s. Although many of these operators are no longer required for today's computer programming languages because tight, compact computer programming code is no longer an issue, this foundation of computer program operators sustain computer program development, sustain computer program development until tight, compact computer programming code was no longer required. As such, it's worth looking at these operators in greater detail. The C computer programming language extended the basic computer assignment instruction, namely A equal B, where the value of data variable B is assigned or given to the data variable A. The data variables A and B are often referred to as the operands of the computer program instruction, connected by the computer instruction operator, which dictates the operation that is performed on the operands. The first extension of the basic assignment computer instruction includes the unary computer assignment instructions of A double plus and A minus minus. In this case, the A data variable or operand is assigned to itself. For example, 
the computer assignment instruction A double plus is equivalent to A equal A plus 1. Likewise, A minus minus is equivalent to A equal A minus 1. The second extension involves the combination of the basic computer instruction assignment operator with the basic computer instruction arithmetic operators. For example, A plus equal B is equivalent to A equal A plus B. While these extensions of the basic computer assignment instruction does not significantly save much computer programming code when viewed on a single computer program instruction basis, but if you accumulate its savings over the entire computer program, it does result in significant savings, especially in the 1970s where computer machine resources were at a premium. My suggestion, even though these extensions to the basic computer program assignment instruction are available in today's Java and C-sharp computer programming languages, is to kiss them or keep it simple stupid. For the basic computer program assignment instruction suffices to do the job. In today's computer programming environment, where computer program readability trumps tight compact computer program code, especially where computer machine resources are no longer at a premium, but more importantly where computer program maintenance, sustainability, and reuse have become the new premium. The C computer programming language provides an abundance of comparison computer instruction operators. This family of comparison computer instruction operators can be segmented into three principal groups, namely relational, equality, and logical. The relational group includes the less than, greater than, less than or equal, greater than or equal comparison computer instruction operators. The equality group includes the equal, not equal, comparison computer instruction operators. These comparison computer instruction operators are used to process the repetition and decision family of computer programming control structures. For example, the while control structure where the comparison operator controls a number of repetitions that will be performed. The logical group includes the AND or not comparison computer instruction operators. Logical comparison computer instruction operators compare the truth or falsity of the computer program instruction operands they operate on. In this case, the truth or falsity can be used at the character level. This was very useful to provide computer programming at the machine level. A major feature of a low-level computer programming language, as the C computer programming language serves at both a general-purpose high-level computer programming language, as well as a low-level computer programming language, where the C computer programming language was used as the computer programming language for developing operating systems, namely Unix. The logical comparison computer instruction operators can also be used to process the repetition and decision family of computer programming control structures, particularly if the comparison are performed at the character level. The C computer programming language provides the basic arithmetic computer instruction operators, normally provided by all computer programming languages. The basic binary arithmetic operators for addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulo. In addition, two unary arithmetic operators for incrementing and decrementing are provided. Next we will take a look at a C computer programming code model that demonstrates the use of a few of these computer program instruction operators, in particular how the operators process the operands that complete the computer program instruction. Note that before the computer instruction operators can direct the execution of a computer program instruction, the operands that are acted upon must be declared and given value. For this computer program code model, 
Note the declaration of data variable operands of total NUMAVG, NUMREM, NUMEVEN1, NUMEVEN2 as integers. Next total is given value by assigning the value 23 by the computer program instruction total equals 6 plus 5 plus 12 semicolon which uses the arithmetic operator plus as part of the binary computer program instruction that assigns the results of the arithmetic operator's addition operation. The assignment is performed by the assignment operator. Thus we have a computer program instruction containing two arithmetic operators and one assignment operator that work in concert to direct the processing of four operands namely the data variable operand total and the literal operands of 6, 5, and 12. Now that the leading data variable called total is initialized by the total equals 6 plus 5 plus 12 semicolon computer program instruction, the remaining declared data variable operands can be assigned or given values by the computer program instructions of NUMAVG equal total forward slash 3, semicolon, NUMREM equal total, percent 3, semicolon, NUMEVEN 1 equal total, minus NUMREM, semicolon, NUMEVEN 2 equal NUMAVG, asterisk 3, semicolon, each of which demonstrates the arithmetic computer instruction operands of division, modulo, subtraction, and multiplication in combination with the assignment operator that assigns the result of each arithmetic operator to the each declared data variable operand giving it value. Next, the command processor concludes the computer program code model by displaying the final result assigned to each of the declared data variable operands. The display serves to verify the operations dictated by each of the computer program instruction operands. The original escape characters were developed to work with line and dot matrix printers as displays were not the norm in the early 1970s. As such, the printf function was initially coded for printing the computer program results on a printer. This changed in the 1980s, principally due to the microcomputer or personal computer revolution. Now computer program results were moved to display on the computer console. Thus the predominant use of the new line alert and tab escape characters. Given technological advances in the dominant computer programming languages of today, escape characters are no longer required for these dominant computer programming languages, notably those that have inherited many other C computer programming language features, namely Java and C Sharp. Of all of the computer instruction escape characters, the new line escape character provided a major extension of the C computer programming language, a major extension that seamlessly supported the transition from displaying on the printer to displaying on the console. Take a look at the display results for computer program L6D.C. Without a forward slash N or a new line escape character included in the argument for each of the printf function calls, the results of the computer program would be very difficult to read and verify. Conversion specifiers are used by the C computer programming language for both input and output. The first four are used for both input and output. The percent %p or pointer conversion specifier is used for input only. As such, the first four conversion specifiers are embedded in arguments, arguments passed by both the scanf and printf function calls. This is how conversion specifiers play a pivotal role in the C computer programming language. 
a pivotal role by extending the printf and scanf functions for providing input of data in the proper format to the computer program, as well as displaying information results in the proper format. For today's dominant computer programming languages, which have inherited much from the C computer programming language, conversion specifiers are no longer required because the original functions for inputting data and outputting results have been completely redesigned. Redesign taking advantage of advances in computer programming languages, particularly those that have taken place since the early 1970s. These functions are now called methods. Methods which are the beneficial results of the migration from the computer programming language procedure-oriented paradigm to the computer programming language object-oriented paradigm. The computer programming language object-oriented paradigm that includes methods that provide a user graphical user interface, one that makes entering data and displaying results intuitively seamless without the need for conversion specifiers. As such, when we discuss Java basics, conversion specifiers certainly will not be part of that discussion. The C computer program L6E demonstrates the use of conversion specifiers for both input and output. For example, note the computer program instruction scanf left paren double quote percent f double quote comma ampersand cost right paren semicolon. The computer program data variable cost was already declared as a float data type in the computer program instruction float cost semicolon. As such, the first argument passed in the scanf function call complies with the float data type, namely the argument percent %f. The second argument assigns the value of the data variable entered at the command line prompt to the declared data variable cost. Well, indirectly anyways, because the ampersand signifies the memory address of the data variable cost. Now that we have described the data entry of cost, Let's look at the output or display side of the cost data variable. Here the computer program instruction printf left paren double quote semicolon point two f comma percent d double quote comma cost comma result right paren semicolon accomplishes the display side. Take a look at the first argument of the printf function call, percent point two f. Here we have added to the floating point conversion specifier the point two, standing for display just two positions after the decimal point to the floating point number display. Note from the command processor that I executed the computer program three times. Each time I entered cost with a different number of zeros following the decimal point. However, for each execution, the results of data variable cost still displays just the same two zeros following the decimal point. Because on the output side, the conversion specifier specifies just two zeros following the decimal point, i.e. point two. Thus, conversion specifiers control input as well as output control that matches data types for input and output with the data type declaration. The third argument of the printf function call is then displayed based on the percent point two f conversion specifier. As such, conversion specifiers played an early pivotal role for extending the scanf and printf functions to support the input and output side of the input processing output process the IOP process being the cornerstone for the computer programming language procedure-oriented paradigm, the computer programming language paradigm on which the C computer programming language is based. Expressions form the building blocks for computer instructions or statements. For example, the computer program instruction total equals 6 plus 5 plus 12 semicolon the expression part of this computer program instruction is 6 plus 5 plus 12. Let's take a look at another computer program instruction. 
namely NUMAVG equal total forward slash 3 semicolon. Here the expression part is total divided by 3, where we have simplified the computer program instruction by utilizing the data variable total, the result of the first instruction discussed. So a computer program instruction expression can be made up of literal data variables as well as declared and assigned data variables, as was the case with the computer program instruction NUMEVEN2 equal NUMAVG asterisk 3 semicolon, where the NUMAVG data variable came from the computer program instruction NUMAVG equal total divided by 3 semicolon. I like to see declared and assigned data variables to be used in computer program instruction expressions as opposed to the use of exclusively literal data variables. For example, NUMEVEN2 equal left paren left paren 6 plus 5 plus 12 right paren forward slash 3 right paren to balance everything asterisk 3 semicolon. This would calculate the same as the instruction does discuss, but this requires multiple parentheses to ensure expression precedence. This form of computer program instruction expressions could result in a computer program logic error, especially if the expression execution precedence is coded incorrectly. More importantly, logic errors are harder to detect than compilation errors. Compilation detection of errors is more likely to be found by using computer program instruction expressions. Those expressions based on declared and assigned variables rather than exclusively literal data variables. Combining computer instruction expressions yields a computer instruction or statement. So let's take a look at one of these computer instructions. Note the computer instruction result equal left paren 4 plus 5 right paren semicolon. This computer instruction assigns the sum of 4 plus 5 to the computer data variable result. Now let's take a closer look at this computer instruction, specifically the syntactical rules. First and foremost, the semicolon terminating the computer instruction. Forget the semicolon and the compiler has no way of knowing that the computer instruction ends. Remember, white space is meaningless. Now let's take a look at the equal sign. The equal sign operator designates this computer instruction as an assignment statement because it assigns the result on the right side of the operator to the data variable on the left side of the operator or in this case, assigning or giving the computer data variable result, the value 9. Now look at what is assigned from the right side. Well, it is a single expression that used the plus operator, namely the expression left paren 5 plus 4 right paren, where the left and right parentheses sandwich or demarcate the expression. In this case, both parentheses are not required because there is only one expression to be evaluated. However, when there are multiple expressions to evaluate and assign, parentheses are required to determine explicitly the precedence of expression evaluation. Computer programming best practice demands explicit expression evaluation precedence. As such, I like left paren 4 plus 5 right paren rather than just 4 plus 5 even for this simple expression. Functions provide pre-coded routines used primarily to extend the computer programming language. The C computer programming language is no exception to this approach. In fact, the use of functions to extend a computer programming language is a principal feature of the C computer programming language a principal feature responsible for C's influence on the dominant computer programming languages of today. Functions come in two flavors. Those that are part of the computer programming languages library, 
a library of pre-coded computer code like standard I.O. or like user-defined functions that a computer programmer adds to their own personal library. In both cases, these functions, once created, can be reused over and over, reused for special purposes dictated by the function call. The function call that provides specificity based on the arguments passed with the call of the function. Okay, let's take a look at our first function computer program code model, L6F. The code model demonstrates a minimal case for the user-defined function, print name. This is a minimal case where the function does not require any arguments to be passed when the function is called. Also, when the function is executed, it does not return a value. Now let's take a look at a specific computer instructions that declare, define, and call the function. First, take a look at void, print name, left paren, void, right paren, semicolon. Note the placement of this computer program instruction. Right after the pound include, but before the main function definition. This placement is required because before print name can be called, it must be declared. Just like a computer data variable. Any data variable value returned by the function must be declared. In this case, nothing is returned. Thus, key, thus the keyword void precedes the function name. Just like in data variable declarations, this declaration occurs outside of the main function definition because the scope and the life of print name is for the entire computer program. The entire computer program which includes main as well as the print name function. Note the computer program code for print name is placed after that of main. Finally, take a look at the left paren void, right paren part of the print name function declaration. Void here tells us that no arguments are passed when print name is called. Next, let's take a look at the print name function definition, namely void print name, left paren void, right paren. Next line left brace, printf, left paren, double quote, the author's name is Dickens, backward slash, n, double quote, right paren, semicolon, right brace. The first line is merely the print name function definition header. The function definition header mirrors the function declaration. The key computer program code included in the function definition is between the braces. The braces, just like for main, demarcate a computer program code block. The computer program block here contains just one computer program instruction, namely the printf function call. Printf left paren, double quote, the author's name is Dixon's, backward slash n double quote, right paren, semicolon. This is the result that will occur when the print name function is called. Okay, now let's take a look at the print name function call. Print name, left paren, closed right paren, semicolon. Where is this function call placed? No surprise, the print name function call is placed within the main function definition. Remember, all C computer programs require a main function definition where all the computer program instructions are executed. Note no arguments are passed with the print name function call. No surprise, we did not declare any in the function declaration. Now that we have a basic understanding of how functions are declared, defined, and called, we will expand this understanding by demonstrating computer program code models, computer program models that demonstrate passing arguments and returning values. Given an understanding of how computer program defined functions are declared, defined, and called, let's expand this understanding by demonstrating how functions return values. First take a look at the computer program instruction float calc left paren void right paren semicolon. Note that the keyword float in this function declaration computer instruction tells us that the data variable return after the call of the calc function 
will be of the data type float. Next, take a look at the left paren void right paren part. This indicates that when the calc function is called, no arguments are passed with the call. Next, let's take a look at the computer program and instruction. It includes the call, which as expected is included within the main function. Result equal calc left paren closed right paren semicolon. This is a basic computer program assignment instruction. Note the assignment operator assigning the right side to the data variable on the left side. In this case, the right side contains the function call calc left paren closed right paren, where the result of the calc left paren right paren function call is assigned to the data variable on the left side. The data variable on the left side, designated as result, is declared in the main function as a float data type. For example, the computer program instruction float result semicolon. Lastly, take a look at the calc function definition. Note the calc function definition header float calc left paren void right paren. This as before mirrors the function declaration but without the semicolon because this is not a computer program instruction. The computer program instructions associated with the calc function definition header follow the header and are included between the braces which demarcate the computer program block. The computer program block that contains the computer program instructions executed when the calc function is called from the main function, namely left brace, float cost semicolon, blank line, cost equal, left paren, 3.00, asterisk, 3.56, right paren, semicolon, return, left paren, cost, right paren, semicolon, right brace. First, here the data variable return must be declared within the calc function definition. As such, the first computer program instruction in the program block, float cost, semicolon. Now that cost is declared matching the data type of the calc function declaration, namely the computer program instruction, float calc left paren void right paren semicolon, this will ensure that the calc function call will not result in a type mismatch when the result of the call is assigned to the data variable result. For example, the computer program assignment instruction executed in main result equal calc left paren right paren semicolon. Now that the coordination between the function declaration definition and call parts has been discussed, let's look more closely at the two remaining computer instructions included within the calc function definition computer program code block. First of these two, cost equal left paren 3.00 asterisk 3.56 right paren semicolon. Here cost receives the value of 10.68. Second of the two, return left paren cost right paren semicolon. Here the value of the data variable cost is returned returned as a result of the execution of the calc function call, a result that is assigned to data variable result in the computer program instruction, result equal calc left paren closed right paren semicolon. Finally, as seen by the execution of the C computer program L6G, the computer program instruction printf left paren double quote percent point 2f backslash n double quote comma result right paren semicolon displays the data variable result on the console which is the same value as the data variable cost as such the three principal parts of the function declaration definition and call in this case work together in seamless harmony
Now that we have discussed the proper placement of functions in the return of values, specifically the proper placement of the function declaration, definition, and call computer program code parts in the C computer program, combined with the return of values when the function is called, the next step is to review the L6HC computer program code model that expands our understanding of functions by adding arguments to the function call. Arguments that when passed with the function call provide specificity to the result obtained from the function's execution. As such, passing arguments with the function call give the function call its signature, a unique signature based on the specific value of the function's arguments. Okay, let's take a look at how the C computer program code, L6H, demonstrates a function that declares and passes data variables. Data variables called parameters in the function declaration. Data variables called arguments in the function call. First, let's take a look at the function declaration. Float, calc, left paren, int, comma, float, right paren, semicolon. The first part of this computer program instruction, function declaration, we have already discussed in the C computer program L6G. Here the first mention of float refers to the data type of the data variable value returned when the calc function is executed. So let's move to the left paren int comma float right paren part. Here we are declaring the data type of the data variables that will be passed with the calc function call. Since this is the function declaration, these data variables are called parameters. In this specific case, two parameters are declared. The first of an int, or integer data type. The second following the comma of a float data type. Next, let's investigate the calc function call, which of course is included in the main function definition, namely, results equal calc left paren 5 comma rate right paren semicolon. Here we have the same computer program assignment instruction as in L6G, with one major exception. Note the calc function call part, calc left paren 5 comma rate right paren. Here two arguments are included separated by the comma. The first argument, a literal data variable of 5, that complies with the calc function declaration, where the first data variable is a data type integer. The second argument data variable of rate. This also complies with the calc function declaration, specifying that the second data variable is of type data type float. Well, how do we know that rate is a data type float? Take a look at the computer program instruction float rate semicolon which declares rate as a float data type in main before being passed in the calc function call. Okay, next let's take a look at the function definition part. Namely, float calc left paren int num comma float calc underscore rate right paren left brace float cost semicolon blank line cost equal calc underscore rate asterisk num semicolon return cost semicolon right brace. First for the function definition part, let's look at the function definition header. Float calc left paren int num comma float calc underscore rate right paren. Although this mirrors the function declaration, it adds data variable names. Those data variable data typed in the function declaration. As such, the data types in the function definition header match those in the function declaration. But the actual data variables that comply with the data types declared are not revealed until the calc function definition part. Taking this one step further, compare the, compare the calc function definition with the calc function call. Remember, result equal calc left paren 5, comma, rate, right paren, semicolon. Note that although the data variable names are different between the function call and the function definition parts, 
the data types of the data variables is the same. Thus, failure to match the data types between all parts of the function computer program code, namely the function declaration, call, and definition, will result in data type mismatches, which the compiler will catch, resulting in the computer program code to fail to compile. Okay, let's look at the remainder of the calc function definition computer program code. Left brace, float cost semicolon, blank line, cost equal calc underscore rate asterisk num semicolon, return cost semicolon, right brace. That between the left facing and right facing braces, first data variable cost must be declared as float. Before it is used in the computer program assignment instruction, cost equal calc underscore rate asterisk num semicolon. No need to declare calc underscore rate and num data variables because they were declared in the calc function header. Float calc left paren int num comma float calc underscore rate semicolon uh, right paren. Thus the data variable cost is assigned the value of 10 because the call passes a literal data value of 5 and the rate data variable value of 2.0 to the calc function definition which performs the calculation by using the local data variables of num and calc underscore rate of the same data types as 5 and rate. So here the coordination requires matches in data types not matches in data variable names. In conclusion, the C computer program L6H demonstrates the importance of data variable declaration matches, particularly when working with functions. Computer program code model L6I extends computer program code model L6H. By showing how the placement of the calc function call influences the final result, the final result produced by the computer program code. As such, attention must be paid to where the computer program instruction function call is placed in the main function definition. To illustrate this, we place two display or printf functions in main, one before the calc function call and another after the calc function call, namely the computer program code printf left paren double quote result before the call is percent point two f backward slash n double quote comma res right paren semicolon res equal calc left paren new comma rate right paren semicolon printf left paren double quote result after call is percent f backward slash n double quote comma, res, right paren, semicolon. The first printf function call displays 0, 0.00 for the data variable res, because before the call, res is determined by the computer program code, res equal 0, 0.0, semicolon. Whereas the second printf function call displays 10.00000, for the data variable res, because after the call, res is determined by the computer program code, res equal calc, left paren, new, comma, rate, right paren, semicolon, where the result of the calc function call is assigned to the data variable res. In this case, the result of the calc function call is determined by the execution of the calc function definition, namely float calc left paren int new comma float calc underscore rate right paren left brace float cost semicolon cost equal calc underscore rate asterisk new semicolon return cost semicolon right brace. Here the result of the calc function execution is 10.00 which is assigned to data variable cost. Then cost is returned and assigned to the data variable res based on the computer program assignment instruction res equal calc 
left paren, noom comma rate, right paren, semicolon. Here the data variables of noom and rate pass the arguments of 5 and 2.0 respectively. Data variables assigned in the main function definition, namely noom equal 5 semicolon, rate equal 2.0 semicolon to the calc function definition where the data variables calc underscore rate and num of the calc function definition assume the values of num and rate data variables of the main function definition don't be confused by the num declared in the main function definition with the num declared in the calc function definition they are not the same, even though they have the same data variable name. The first num is local in scope and life to the main function definition, whereas the second num is local in scope and life to the calc function definition. What's important here is to, to the compiler, they are different. Different areas of computer memory are reserved for both data variables. The importance here is that the names of the data variables is insignificant. What is significant is the data type of the data variables. The effect of coordination between the function call and the function definition requires that the data type of the arguments passed must be the same as the data type of the data variables processed in the function definition. I trust the computer program code model L6I further emphasizes the coordination required coordination for all parts of the computer program functions, namely the function declaration, call, and definition. Any discussion of C computer programming basics would not be complete without the discussion of structures. Computer program code model L6J introduces the type def keyword, short for type definition. Type definition is to defining data structures, as a function definition is to defining computer processing instructions. A structure consists of a set of data variable objects that can be referenced as one single object. Each data variable object is considered a member of the structure. Thus, when referring to a data variable, the dot syntax format is used. The dot syntax format found in computer programming languages complying with the computer programming language object-oriented paradigm. For example, data object structure name dot data variable object member name. Specifically for the computer program assignment instruction, employee dot salary equal 45.00 semicolon. Here the data variable object member salary of the data variable employee is assigned 45.00. What is significant about structures is that they pave the way for migrating from the computer programming language procedure oriented paradigm to the computer programming language object oriented paradigm, where the idea of data objects containing data object members is commonplace, along with the dot syntax of referring to object members of object classes. Although the C computer programming language is still considered a procedure-oriented computer programming language, it surely set the stage for the leading object-oriented computer programming languages of today, namely Java and C Sharp. Okay, let's take a look at the data type definition computer program code. Type def struct EMP left brace INTID semicolon, float salary semicolon, right brace, EMP in, in caps semicolon. Note that the data type definition computer program is included outside and before the main function. This is because the data variable object members 